right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Amy Greer in Trenton can help you get to a better state because she'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it from cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Amy Greer in Trenton and officially get to a better state with State Farm. He's going to kick it to Joe. That's why Joe got right there. <laughs> you think so? I guarantee you. He told Drew, he said, kick it to me. That's where I'm going. So, Coach Joe Gaddis is down here on the sideline at about the 25-yard line, and I believe Drew Sanders is going to be kicking the ball right to him. It caused a turnover the last time. Let's see if it happens again. And that coming, he kicked it right to him, and the kid fielded the ball again, and he's going to be dropped right there at the 30-yard line. His own teammate put a, a whack on him. It's amazing. You know that ball's going out of bounds. The mouths are... Uh, the mouths are starting to run. And that's what you don't want to see, you're afraid of. There's been some of this during the week, uh, as there often is between... Well, there was an altercation, I think, this past week at Walmart. By several of the Humboldt players uh, jumped on one of the Peabody players. And I wasn't there to see it, so that I guess you could say that's gossip. I repeated it. Well, I think it's uh, pretty factual. Seems like that kind of thing always happens leading up to a game. But this is a frustrated Humboldt team right now. Spread formation as Humboldt's going to spread it out and try to air it out with seven minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the fourth period. The test of a team oftentimes is to win with class and character. You can win a game but lose it uh, if you don't win it the right way especially on the high school level. A lot to be said for winning the right way. And we want to make sure we close this contest out with integrity and class and sportsmanship. Really want to see it on both sides, but particularly we want to see it from our kids from Trenton. Spread formation for Humboldt, wide outs all over the field. Well, we're going to see a pass here. No, Blankenship run. runs the ball wide as he comes in motion. And Ray Buchanan was over there getting ready to pop him. And I think Mr. Blankenship realized that the last game over in Humboldt, Ray Buchanan popped him pretty good on that same play. And he put the brakes on about the time uh, Ray showed up, Joey. Ray is just, and I, I say this in a good sense, he's a bully on the football field. He's a football player. He's going to hit somebody every play. And uh, whether you have the ball or not, Quarterback keeps it. He's going to be tripped up there in the backfield. Several members of the Tide defense. Ty Fields is in there on the play. Noah Allen was in on the play. Very short gain brings up uh, third and long. If they don't convert this when you have to believe that this game is pretty much over with, but you got to play the minutes. Speed sweep coming this way. Very athletic play there by member Mr. Williams. Uh, jumps over a uh, defender from Peabody, but I see some yellow laundry on the field, and most likely that's going to be against Humboldt. A huge penalty and against Humboldt. The penalty is waved off. Oh. Coach Joe wants a little bit of a, an explanation, but a big play by Humboldt there. Penalty waved off by the official, first and 10 for Humboldt. Spread formation for the Vikings. Montague back to pass, throws the ball down here and it was intended for number four, Octavius Ferguson, but it fell just a little short. 
Ferguson wide open. We can pin our ears back and go get that quarterback. Second and long here, you know that they're gonna have a pass in here somewhere. We need to get him, we need a sack right here, we need a turnover in this thing. Peabody will be traveling to Memphis Westwood next Friday. In the second round playoff action. Now there'll be a strong contingent of folks from the Trenton area going down for that ball game. Little screen pass out in the flat uh, to Humboldt, and he runs it back up into the middle where all the hump, uh, Peabody defenders are, and several players there to make the tackle. Well, the clock is running against them. Under six minutes now. Not sure anymore about timeouts for either side. Montague gets the ball. And he's running over there towards the yardsticks, and he's going to be shoved out of bounds. And when he is shoved, the official calls a uh, late flag, I believe, coming in right here against Peabody. I believe that's going to be against Ray Buchanan there. The problem with that is it stops the clock. We want that clock to run. Lowry coming out of the contest, kind of holding his arm funny. Hope he hadn't hurt his shoulder. Personal foul against the Golden Tide. Huge penalty. Have him pinned back, but first and ten. First and ten for the Vikings. As they continue to spread formation. And Whitby comes in and gets uh, Jalen Montague and gets him pretty quickly for about a one or two yard loss on the play. You know, you look at these kids, uh, some of these seniors, and you wonder which ones might move to play on Saturday next year. I think Hayden Whitby is one of those young men who can do it. He can make the transition. Williams is loose, and he's going to be tackled from behind by Ray Buchanan. And there also to clean him up is number 10, Nijewan Miller. Referees are going to have to get it in charge and control of this game. There's just too much mouthing going on, pushing and shoving. Losing some composure here. They can get away from you. And that's what we're gonna have here. Referee sends one off the field. Daniel Hodges is escorted off the field. Hope he wasn't thrown out of the game. Blankenship on the sweep going wide. And he's going to be run out of bounds by number 27. Ray Buchanan showed some pretty good discipline there by not tackling him out of bounds. Well, we, we don't need those penalties. We don't need to give them anything. We played a good, hard game. We've... Uh, we earn this win if, in fact, we get it. But let's not give them anything here at the end. Second and short. Humboldt can make a first down without scoring. Montague rolls out to the right. And the ball... Looked like it was close to being intercepted. But if ball was incomplete, broken up by Nesbitt, number 20. Good job, Nesbitt. Not really great coverage, but as soon as the ball comes in there, he rushes and puts a, a hat on the ball, knocks it loose. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go in this contest. Peabody's winning by 20, 34 to 14. Third and two. 
Montague's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown for the Vikings. Just kind of bulls his way. So that's like a quarterback sneak, I guess, for the shotgun formation as Montague goes in virtually untouched. But you know, Paul, four minutes, 26 seconds, I've seen teams uh, score a couple of touchdowns in that amount of time. Crazier things have happened. The kick is up, and the kick is good from Humboldt. And so Peabody's lead is cut to 13 as Humboldt has drawn another touchdown. Peabody continues to lead 34 to 21 with 426 to go in this contest. We'll come back for the kickoff as Peabody goes back on offense. You're watching Golden Tide Football on TV 22, Trenton's local cable channel. Hello, this is Ed Norman, broker with LA Realty of Trenton. I want to thank all of you for making LA number one in our community. We aim to take good care of our customers to the best of our ability. We know that's how a successful real estate firm operates in a small town. Please remember us when you need help or just advice about your real estate. Thanks again. Humboldt set up for an onside kick. I hope Peabody has the good hands people in in the game. They're not ready for it. Onside kick over here taken by Miller. And he gets down, but rolling through there, number 25 comes through there pretty hot and heavy and takes out Nesbitt on the play. Nonetheless, Peabody re remains or well, you need a couple attains first downs here. Possession, attains possession. I got kind of tongue-tied there, Joseph. <laughs> can't, uh, can't play too conservatively here. Certainly don't want a turnover, but you've got to make a couple of first downs. Barnett back in the game for the Golden Tide. Bogus on the carry. And a referee throws a penalty off the head of one of the players, and that's probably going to be holding against, against Peabody. No, it's against Humboldt. Be curious to see, was that maybe a face maybe mask? Maybe a face mask. Absolutely, face mask against Humboldt. They evidently grabbing the face of Bogus as he was uh, straining forward to make positive yardage. Somebody slipped in there and put their hand on the face mask and didn't let go of it, as the official said. That's a personal foul. Do they still have the five or 15 yard face mask? I'm not I don't sure. Know. They, they've had it and taken it away. And not sure if they do or not. That was 15. And we'll take that. Again, Peyton this knees. can get ugly here in the Peyton last four minutes. knees hammered pretty good right there by the defensive player for Humboldt. And I believe the officials are going to call an extra foul right here. Let's see what they call. Offsides against Humboldt. And they'd stop it right there. And they could have called uh, un yeah, unabated. Absolutely. Unabated. Uh, and personal foul. There you go. Personal foul against Humboldt. They could have called it, and they did call it. And I think rightly called it. Absolutely. That was completely uncalled for. You jump, that's one thing, but you just drive a man off the ball and you know you're off sides. That's something else. We'll take seven more. We'll put 40 on them. Hmm. First and 10 for Peabody. There's Barnett on the carry. Number 41 makes the tackle for the Vikings. That's Keenan James making the tackle. 
Good to see the official jump in there as soon as the player's on the ground and whistles. He's going to have to do that. It's going to get more than tippy here. Pickup of about two and a half on the play. Bog is getting the play from Coach Mintz, the offensive coordinator. Barnett on the carry. He's shaking and baking. He's got the ball down inside the 10. Going to be tackled at about the seven, maybe seven and a half yard mark. Eight yard line, where to be first and 10 Peabody. Well, the outcome is not in question. It's just a matter of what will be the differential here. Looks like Peabody is marching to another score. Letting that clock run. First and goal, Peabody. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go before the end of this contest. And that's Bogus going around the right end, and he's going to be tackled out there as he cannot escape uh, the grasp of number 52 for the Vikings. You know, you just don't George want to Wilson. see this quarterback get hurt here with the game out of out of hand. Uh, well, well decided. This may be a situation where we see Drew Sanders. No, we're not going to kick a field goal. I forbid it. We had not kicked one. <laughs> I don't want to see one now. <laughs> We've been begging for one all year. But That's we right. <laughs> Throw us a bone, Coach. Maybe it's reverse psychology here. We will not kick a field goal. Delay a game is the call against Peabody. See, it's just going to be a longer field goal that we're going to kick. We're not going to kick a field goal. The crowd begins to exit. They've seen an, an excellent game, especially if you're a Peabody fan. To beat Humboldt twice in a year is a is a really a great accomplishment. Clock was continuing to run. Clock is not running. William Harris on the carry. He's going around the end and he's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the two yard line. Make it third and goal. Good play there, we're going to be 23 Williams for Humboldt. Came across the field, made a big hit. Saved the touchdown for the moment. You know, Williams, he, he's a player. He's not happy about this, you can tell. He's not ready for it to be over. Ten seconds on the play clock. A minute and 19 seconds to go. Harris on the carry, and he's going to go in. Touchdown for the Golden Tide. So William Harris caps off the drive for a touchdown for the Golden Tide. And Peabody's put 40 on Humboldt. Really impressed by William Harris. He's run hard tonight. What what few carries he's gotten. He's done a great job. Hmm. The kick is up and it's good. And Drew kind of still struggling, but he makes the kick anyway. He's kind of gotten mechanical tonight after he missed two early ones. Nonetheless, Peabody's up by 20 with a minute and 19 seconds to play as we're going to kick off here to Humboldt. 
We're going to take a break and be back after this short message from our sponsors. At Raspberry Tire, we can help you with brakes, transmission flushes, interstate battery replacement, all types of suspension repairs and alignments. We carry several major oil brands and tire brands, including Firestone and Bridgestone. Our service center can balance both passenger car tires and semi-truck tires and fill your tires with nitrogen. With 30 years of towing experience, we can haul small, compact cars to semi-trucks and we are the only record service in Gibson County with heavy-duty towing and recovery services. Come visit us at 2216 Highway 45 Bypass, Trenton. Agnew's got the ball after the kick. Lanes are not there. And he's going to be tackled. Several defenders for the Golden Tide are right over there in good position. Xavier Ball was there. Number 20, Tay-Tay Nesbitt was there. Number 15, Daniel Hodges was there. And so let's run this timeout, boys, and go to Memphis and play Westwood. Memphis Westwood is the winner of District 15A in Memphis. And we know they'll be very athletic, and Peabody will have their hands full next week. As the playoffs continue, your opponent will get better each and every week. But I believe Peabody will be up for the test next week as they go to Memphis. I'm not sure how long it's been since Peabody won a playoff game. Maybe not that long. When have they gone to a second round? Oh, two years ago. They beat uh, Memphis Douglas in the over in the uh, playoffs, and then got beat by Trinity Christian TCA out of Jackson, who made it all the way to the state finals that year with a very good quarterback, Jabari Washington, who's now Jabril Washington, who is uh, on scholarship at University yeah. of Alabama. And that's I, a shot to the head. That You're was a shot that. to the head, and that's a good call. Led with the head, and you can't do that. Uh, Peabody could have been called earlier in the contest for that on a kickoff coverage once. Yeah, if he caught him in the chest, probably not going to be a call there, but you can't go up high like that anymore. Now, years ago, a few years ago, wouldn't have been a problem, but uh, I think it's a good thing that there's more concern for these uh, head injuries and uh, kids are just getting so big and fast and strong. You're going to have to do something or you, you're not going to have to ha have football <laughs> in the years to come. A minute and three seconds to go. The last four minutes of this ball game has lasted what seems an eternity. Montague's out oh. passing <laughs> and Mars steps in and all of a sudden Tay Tay Nesbitt was there nearly made a great interception. Tay Tay Nesbitt may have taken that one to the house. Ray Buchanan's just not happy out there for some reason. Players kind of talking to him. Blankenship on the end around. He fumbles. And that's number 19, Jordan Johnson, who gets the football. And he's going to be tackled by number 52. On the return, George Wilson. Well, turn out the lights. The party is over. Dandy Don Meredith, sing me a bar. Turn out the lights. The party's over. They say that all good things must end. Let's call it a night. The party's over, and tomorrow starts the same old thing again. I won't charge y'all a penny for that song. 
I just hope everybody stayed with the game long enough to hear that. Peabody's in the victory formation as they're going to win this contest 41 to 21 and advance to the second round of the TSSAA playoffs. Delay a game against Peabody. I didn't even know the clock, play clock had started. Uh, obviously, it had. Bogus will take a knee. And the clock will continue to run. Number 41 for Humboldt's not ready to say uncle. Peabody ought to be able to take a knee right here, and that ought to be the ball game. And Peabody's going to win this contest 41 to 21. It's a great year anytime you can beat Humboldt two times in a year, and that's exactly what Peabody has done. And they will advance to play Memphis, West, Memphis Westwood next week in Memphis in round two of the playoffs. And uh, we hope that we'll be there to cover the game for you. Peabody's winner tonight, 41-21. Congratulations to these Golden Tide player, football players and to the coaching staff as we advance to the second round. We'll see you next week from Memphis. God bless you and good night.